Hi students, yesterday I'd asked you a question on CPC. What is the principle of Damrupat? You know, this relates to actually the money lender's role in the pre constitution era. The money lenders were called blood suckers because the reason being that they would take exorbitant interests, 400%, 500% interest lete the. As a result, principal to piche ra jata tha aur interest dene ke chakkar mein pediyan bonded labor ban jati thi. As a result, this rule of Damrupat came into existence. This rule of Damrupat says that the interest cannot be more than the principal. So that means a plaintiff cannot claim more than double the principal amount. 100 rupiah agar mera principal hai, to 200 rupiah se zada mein nahi suit nahi dal sakta. In other words, if I am, I have given you a loan of 100 rupees, I cannot charge more than 100 rupees as interest. This is the principle of Damrupat. It is based on the basically the socialist principles of the constitution and it ensures that the poor and the needy, they, they are not, uh, their, their interests are not violated by money lenders and other such interests who are, you know, they are all very, uh, all such interests are bad for our, for our nation. Because if we see in British times, where did the biggest problem come from? Because of these people. So to safeguard against this, we have the rule of Damrupat. I have seen this question coming up as a short question in many judicial examinations. So I decided to share it with you all. Thank you.